Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a fun video for y'all today. We're gonna do some junking, we're gonna do some thrifting, we're gonna do a haul, and I also have a giveaway. It's a good one. <laughs> y'all are not gonna wanna miss it. So let's get started at my favorite place to go junking. Let's go to Kilgore's Antiques. When we moved to Hernando, Mississippi, this is one of the first shops that I came to because when you are a junker and you pass a place that looks like this, you absolutely have to stop. There are three different buildings here for you to go junking and picking and digging through. The building that we are in right now mostly has all the bigger items and furniture and usually when he gets something new, this is where he puts it. And I have not been here since before Christmas, so I'm really excited to look around and see what is new. Today I am specifically looking for a piece for my living room a pie safe, a hutch, something like that. I am also on the hunt for one of these side tables with a lamp on it. However, this one was a little too big for the space that I wanted. You know, all the baskets definitely caught my eye and I love the shape and size of these two. This bigger one down here, I was really trying to figure out where I could put it in my house because I really liked it. You could use it for storage and also decorate the top or put a tray on top of the top and decorate it. It was just a great size and a great color. So this is kind of the piece that I have in mind where it's taller and slimmer, but I really want some glass at the top to be able to display pieces. Also, this one was sold, so it wasn't even an option for me. As you can see, when you are shopping, you need to look up, you need to look down, you need to look everywhere. There is anything and everything you can imagine at this place. They had some beautiful wood legs all over the place, lots of glassware, lots of smalls. The last time I came, they had this beautiful ornate fireplace around. I did not see it today, so that means it must have sold. I am so glad that I went to a new home. They did have this one out that was very pretty. It was a little bit more rustic. They have, like I said, lots of furniture to choose from. That's why I came here to try to find the piece for my living room. Do y'all know what this is? It was so unique. There was a hole in the middle of it where they had a shelf, but it looks hand carved. It was absolutely beautiful. Check out these scissors. I wish I would come across a box of scissors here. I would absolutely pick that up. All right, let's go into the next building now. This one is also just jammed, packed full of stuff. I wanna thank the ladies at Furniture. They gave me a $100 credit to Kilgore's for Christmas. I appreciate it so much. So I have a $100 credit to spend today. There is so much stuff in here. I am completely overwhelmed. I really want to start buying more stuff from Kilgore's to be able to sell on my website. There's just so many unique treasures here. I just don't know what to pick up. So if y'all could let me know what you are looking for, what you would like me to purchase, that would really help me out because like I said, when there's so much stuff, I just don't know what to buy. <laughs> These areas are the rooms that are filled with stuff that have probably been here for a very long time. So I would love to rescue some of this stuff and give it a new home. This in particular is my favorite spot. I love the rusty, crusty kitchen stuff. Like I like it extra rusted like this. So y'all let me know if y'all also like things like this. I especially love the back. I think that's such a pretty look. I like to just hang these on the wall or put them as a shelf sitter when decorating a kitchen or a dining room. I also love all the rusty muffin pans. I think they look great as is, but they would also look amazing if you put a layer of chalk paint or milk paint on them and brought back some of that rust. So many things to look at. Make sure you wear comfortable clothes, bring snacks, bring water, because you could definitely spend a few hours here. 
what is this piece y'all it looked hand carved it was so pretty is this just a serving platter i was not sure this was a really nice vegetable cutter this also looked hand carved and super old it was absolutely amazing it was also very heavy look how cute these little copper baby shoes are okay there's a whole pile of these i have no clue what this is y'all let me know if y'all know what these little wooden pieces are I really liked the look of this croc. I did not purchase it, but now that I'm editing this video, I feel like I need to go back and get it. It looks beautiful as is, but it also looked great with a stamp or a transfer on it. He had all of these little copper pans. They were adorable and these little, I think this was brass maybe, um, frogs. I don't come across those very often. Look add the colors on the sifter okay why did i not purchase that too <laughs> i might need to take another trip back to kilgore's today <laughs> so if y'all see some stuff y'all want let me know <laughs> like i said it's just a bit overwhelming i just need a little bit of direction to know what to pick up i thought this was so sweet it was a little roll top jewelry holder i love the natural brown color and the look of it i thought this print was very pretty and moody i even liked the green trim and the gold frame look at all the stuff back there i need to get back here one day i'm gonna have to come back and just move stuff around and really dig deep into this place into all the spots that maybe nobody has looked before Look, another little canning thing. I had bought one of these before from Kilgore's. I just love this. I think that's such a pretty look. And it is already rusty and crusty the way that I like it. I only purchased four things from Kilgore's because like I said, it's just a bit overwhelming. There's so much stuff and I definitely want to support their business and start buying stuff that I can sell on my website. So Feel free to give me some direction on what y'all are looking for, what y'all want me to pick up, or if y'all just want me to pick up things that I like, because I mean, 95% of the time, if it's something I like and would put in my home, it normally sells. So this is what I ended up picking up. I just thought, I need to ask my mom if my grandparents had one like this, because it just seems so familiar to me, but I just love it. It's a little roll top jewelry box, adorable. And it would just absolutely look perfect in my house. So, I don't know. I, I just couldn't leave this behind. I have not decided if I want to keep it or sell it yet. And then every time I come across some scissors, I just really need to pick them up. I mean, how cool are these? I don't think I need, I, I don't think I have a spool of thread for them. So, I need to find some more spools of thread. The last time I went to Kilgore's, he told me that he had a box of thread somewhere, but didn't know where. And I haven't found it yet. So, but if I find it, I'm buying the whole box. And then I picked this up. I already purchased one of these and showed it in the video. And I had no clue what it was. But what my thinking was is that I would put some dinner plates in it. Like just some vintage ones. Like get all kind of different patterns and colors. And maybe some different, you know, scalloped edge sides. And then put some vintage napkins rolled up in it. I just thought that would look so cute sitting on a buffet or something. But then after I posted the video, everybody let me know that this was for canning, that you put it into your water and you have your mason jars in it. So I also think it will look great if you put mason jars in it and some floral. So I think there's like a multitude of things you could do with this. It would also look great with a basket or a pot or something that fit in this with a plant i don't know i i think it's good sometimes that i don't know exactly what things are because it makes it easier for me to think of all these other things you could do with it not exactly what it was intended for you know what i mean so now i have two of these so far i haven't used one yet because my dining room is not put together but i just i love this and if i find another one i will probably pick it up and i also purchased one ticking stripe pillow his wife made this and it's beautiful and just looks so good in my home i just got one but i'm thinking about maybe going grab another because i really like it 
So that is everything that I purchased from Kilgore's. I know y'all always enjoy going shopping there just as much as I do. Now, let me take y'all to an estate sale that I went to and then I'm gonna show y'all everything that I purchased over there. Estate sales are my absolute favorite places to shop because unlike garage sales where it could be very hit or miss and you'd have to go to a lot of houses to maybe find a lot of items, estate sales are usually an entire house full of stuff. So you are most likely going to at least find a few treasures or even practical items that you need for your home. This estate sale was actually on a Monday and it was 50% off. I don't think I've been to an estate sale on a Monday before, but I am here for it. I loved it. It was the perfect way to start off my week. And this, I saw the before pictures of this place and it was jam packed full of stuff. So I knew even on the last day of this sale, there would still be lots of treasures. You know, I picked up those two copper pieces. They were actually potpourri bowls. I thought the shape and color on this was interesting. It was $30 and y'all, it is the last day of the sale. So don't be too concerned over the prices. What I do is I just make a big pile of stuff that I want. And the majority of the time, they are willing to give you great prices because it's the last day and they don't want to have to haul this stuff out. And that is exactly what happened. I just continued to pile my stuff up. I wasn't too concerned with the prices and they gave me a really amazing deal. Make sure you always dig through the laundry rooms and the bathrooms. I always find good stuff in there. This is obviously where they were storing all of the holiday stuff. I thought this little pair of bookends were adorable. It was a little boy and a little girl reading. I was told by the estate sale company that the owner was Italian and she had lots of cherubs and things like that all around the house. They were very beautiful and I'm sure I could have purchased all this stuff and resold it, but I'm really trying to stick to things that are just my particular style and things that I would put in my home because I am the only one working here. I have to purchase this stuff. I have to clean it. I have to list it, <laughs> all the things. So even though there was lots of things that I knew that I could purchase and resale, like I said, I'm just trying to stick with my style. I thought this ceramic bird in this bird cage was really sweet and it actually played music. And then they had this beautiful mirror with this floral, I think it was porcelain on the back and it had a great patina to it. If you are looking for a rounded bed frame to go with your round bed, this estate sale had one. This room was my favorite. It was just filled with all the small, unique items that I love. Look how cute this little tiny wicker bassinet is. They had tons of books in all kinds of different colors, especially those spring brighter colors that are really hard to find in vintage books. And then of course, you know, they had just a variety of odds and ends and trinkets and things that you, you know, would normally expect to find at an estate sale. This was very interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure what it was. I ended up finding another one of these dolls. This one is in a different color. I already have the blue one, so I kind of feel like I need to pick that one up as well. And then they had two more right here. This one said, world's best secretary and world's best mom. If you know the history on these particular pieces, please leave a comment below and let me know more about them. I thought this xylophone was really pretty. It looked like it was made out of brass. It definitely looked old and very well made. I found one of those roll up music sheets that you would put in piano and the piano would play it itself. I love these. I wish I would come across an entire box of these. I think they are absolutely beautiful. This one is definitely coming home with me. 
like I said, don't forget to check the bathrooms. Lots of times they have lots of little cute accessories in there. Check out this Kleenex box. This thing was very ornate. And they had this little porcelain dish right here that I thought was really pretty. It has some cherubs on it. That is not 100% my style, but the bottom was brass. It was so heavy and it was so beautiful. I also thought this picture was very pretty. I like the little circle shape and just the ornateness of this gold frame. Y'all know I've been going a little bit more towards the French country style and really loving stuff like that. I also really liked this soap dish and wouldn't have minded pulling it off the wall and bringing it home with me. Even the nightlight was fancy in this bathroom. These were cute. They were corbels and they definitely had a shabby chic look to them. Maybe I should have picked them up, but they just weren't 100% my style. And when there's so much stuff, I just kind of have to stick to the things that I really love. There was a whole pile of silver here. And of course I gravitated to the more tarnished pieces. That estate sale was fun. It was, you know, just a regular estate sale, nothing too crazy, nothing too exciting, but I want y'all to just guess, just throw a number out there about what y'all think I spent at that estate sale. Probably the most I have ever spent at an estate sale. No, 100% the most I've ever spent at an estate sale. Y'all, I spent $600, over $600, <laughs> but I did buy a piece of furniture. It is not in the video because I saw it when I was leaving. I was checking out and I was, saw this piece of furniture. I'm like, wait, is this for sale? And they said, yes. I'm like, oh my gosh, this will look perfect in my house. I have been looking for this piece. So I did pay a lot more than I wanted to spend. However, I do think I got a good deal on it. So whatever it's mine i bought it i don't regret it i like it um i'm gonna put a picture of it right here it is going in my living room and i am that video is coming out later this week i am finishing the living room so i was just i wasn't expecting to find this piece at the estate sale so when i saw it and knew that i was going to be finishing my living room this week i was just excited because that'll just complete the whole look <gasps> y'all i'm excited i'm so excited I, it's not in my living room yet so i i mean i imagine it's gonna look perfect but i don't really know so we will all just have to stay tuned for the big reveal so <laughs> y'all make sure y'all hit the notification bell so y'all do not miss out on that video okay so i spent a lot of money on that piece and then <laughs> everything else i spent 28 dollars on and y'all i got an amazing deal because yeah I gotta get a lot of stuff. I got this set of Christmas canisters. There's three of them. There's a Santa. There is a Nutcracker. And then they have a Snowman. And they are just so pretty. This is definitely tin, but I think this might be pewter. It is very heavy. And I just thought they were so cool, especially the Santa one. I really liked him. So grab these. Like I said, I don't know what I paid for everything. A lot of stuff wasn't priced. I made a pile. He gave me a deal. Look at this copper dustpan. If you are remodeling your pantry or maybe your laundry room, this would just look so cute as a shelf sitter or hanging up on a hook. Love this. It's rusty just the way that I like it. Oh my gosh, it looks good in my house. <laughs> okay, I found another one of these and I just felt like, I had to get it. <laughs> this one's off white though. The other one I got was like a greenish bluish bluish color. So now there's two of them, but I kind of like the color of this one too. But we love her a lot. She can have two in her room. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I thrifted one of those before to put in the baby's room. So she already has one. Oh, these came from Dollarama. They were two dollars back in the day. But they are very pretty they are metal there's a set of three of them so i'll probably sell all three of them together that would look so cute if you have just a small wall that you wanted to put something on and i mean if you like the prints in them too that's cool they're very victorian 
but look how pretty i love the color on them i love the look of them they are perfect as is oh I need to send her a picture. I bought this for Teresa at Our Green Acres because she's been working on um, redoing a dollhouse. So I've been on the lookout for furniture for her. It's missing the mirror, but I feel like she could fix it up. I mean, how cute is this? She needs this in her dollhouse. So y'all make sure to check out her channel if y'all want to see what's going on with her dollhouse. And look at this mirror. So this, the mirror part is really bad, but look at the back, y'all. Pretty sure that's porcelain. It's beautiful. Look at the age on the handle. I mean, somebody needs this on their dresser. That is gorgeous. And I don't know what these are. So if you know what they are, let me know. But they were just so cute. Look at this little mouse set i think it's you know for sewing because this one has pins and this one has the little um sand timer y'all oh my god i cannot think of <laughs> the name i hate that when i'm filming and the name of something just completely goes out of my mind but they were just so sweet so i just i grabbed them i liked them this was in the bathroom so it needs to be cleaned up. It has soap on it, but I thought it was so pretty. It is very heavy. It has this dish at the top. You see the details are all raised. It has these little cherubs that are 100% not my style. So this is probably not something I would put in my house, but I do think it is very beautiful and I knew that somebody would love it. I think this is brass. It's very heavy. So. I picked that up. It was just so pretty. And I got these beautiful silver salt and pepper shakers that are so tarnished and aged. I love the look of them. Look at these things. They are beautiful. And I got, this is a little random, but I have one of these hanging on my wall in my master bedroom. I'm a home in Louisiana and I love it so much. It's such a unique piece of wall art. So when I saw this, I'm like, let me get it. I have a space on my wall over there. We're in my master right now. And I think it would be perfect right there. It's not gonna be visually heavy. It'll just be the perfect little thing to add right there. And I'll make sure to do this in a thrift flip video. That way y'all can see how I make a stand for it. So if you come across these and want to do the same thing, you can because I think it's just such a unique piece of wall art. So it's one of those piano things that you put in a piano and it plays by itself. It has the words and all the lines. So imagine this hanging on the wall and you can make it as long or as short as you want. So what I'll do is I'll make a wood piece for the top to hold it up. And then I'll also make a wood piece for the bottom. And then so it'll be like this on the wall. Trust me, it looks beautiful. They had that whole room full of books. The books weren't priced, so I asked them how much they were. And he said, if I took all the books and loaded them myself, he would give me all the books for $20. I was like, no, <laughs> there wasn't enough of them that I wanted to even deal with that. So I picked out 12 books and he gave them to me for $8 and I was perfectly happy with that deal. I did not want to deal with all those books. Now, if they would all look like this, then that would have been another story, but they were not. So I tried to get some fun spring colors. I haven't sold much books on the website because I've been keeping them all. <laughs> so these I picked up for y'all. So I'm going to make sets, um, three sets of vintage books and have them in all these fun spring colors. Ooh, this looks so good. Let me show y'all again. Look how pretty. Love that. And I got these. They're a little more muted. And I got these up here. Let me grab this stuff down so y'all can see i got these three right here and then i got did y'all see these bookends that were in the background look how pretty it's a little girl reading 
and a little boy reading. I love the color on them. Um, they're not metal. They're not that heavy, but they are absolutely beautiful. I was so excited to find these. I've been finding some like really cute bookends lately. So grab the books, grab those bookends. Got another bag of goodies right here. I got this cute little bird music box. Let me see. I don't want it to play too much music while I'm trying to film, but it's so cute. It has this little ceramic bird in it and this little gold cage. I don't know if I'm already get. I need to see how you get it to work. But I swear it worked when I bought it. So I just thought it was so pretty. So I grabbed that. And in the kitchen, I didn't find a lot in the kitchen. That's usually my favorite place to shop. I got these. Um, these are made in Taiwan. They're little potpourri things. This one actually says potpourri. But anytime I find copper for a good price, I am snagging them up. They still have potpourri in them. They smell good. So these are so cute. Love those. I got this pretty silver pot. Look at the detail. I don't think I've ever seen one like this before. Very pretty. And then look at this, y'all. So this has $25 on this box. Everything that I just showed y'all, y'all, I paid $28 for. Now, I did end up spending over $600, but um, I feel like I got a really good deal on the smalls, and I'll probably, like, try to sell most of this stuff to pay <laughs> for the furniture that I bought. So, I was excited that I got such a good deal on the smalls since I was, you know, about to spend a lot of money on that piece of furniture. So, I just thought this was absolutely beautiful. I love the color on it. It's, um, you know, not too tarnished, but just enough to make it look vintage and darker and look really good with white furniture look at the bottom on this piece even the bottom is beautiful so i was just excited to pick up this piece i really like it that's everything that i got at the estate sale i'm gonna move this out of the way and then i have some stuff from thrift stores and the gobo bins and all that that i want to show y'all and then i gotta show y'all the giveaway item too so hang on all right, I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible. I got some books from the thrift store. I love these colors. I also love that these are missing the spine. I like the look when the spine comes off. So if you have books that the spine is coming off, don't worry about it because this is what they look like underneath. Or if you have ones that are in colors you don't particularly care for, this is something that you could also to do to them so i just think that looks so pretty and then this one i just look how beautiful that is the colors on this one i thought it was so pretty i got this for me it has some chips on it it does look like false graph but i don't think it is it doesn't have the marking on the bottom but i thought this would just look cute in my decor if i needed you know just a small piece to put somewhere so grab that and this i just thought this would look pretty maybe in a little boy's room it's a brass plate and a lot of the paint has come off but i kind of like the look of that so i just thought this was really pretty and somebody might need that in their room how can i pass up a small little cutting board how cute is this it has a magnet on the back i still have those tiny rolling pins i should put a magnet on those and i could put them on my fridge I think I might even keep the bow on it. I don't know. It was cute. <laughs> um, I always pick up good sea creatures when I find them because these are really expensive in the store and they just look great in a bathroom. You just put some books on a shelf, stick a little sea creature on there. I mean, y'all, that looks good. I got these three rusty crusty owls i thought they were so cute and i thought if you had a white board maybe you could put all three of them up and turn it into a piece of artwork i thought that would be cute so that was my idea i mean you could use them as pot holders but they're kind of small <laughs> so i would turn them into a piece of art so let me know if y'all want me to sell them as is or you want me to actually do what i am thinking about <laughs> with them this is it says 
NASCO springtime. I don't know. I haven't looked it up. I don't know if it's anything special, but it's special to me because I really like the pattern on it. I thought it was so cute and pretty and I thought it would look good in my daughter's room, but I don't know. She has a lot of stuff. <laughs> so we'll see. I do, I do come across a lot of pottery and a lot of plates, but I'm trying to be very selective about what I actually pick up. If it's not something I would actually put in my own home, I kind of just need to leave it behind because there's so much of it out there and it really doesn't go for a lot of money. I picked up this basket, I believe at the bins. It is not my color at all, but how pretty is the shape? And design on this so this will definitely get painted white I thought it'd just be perfect to put a wreath right here to hang on the wall or it also would make an amazing tray wish it wasn't red but we can fix that I picked up this swan and I really wish it didn't have a chip right here it's made out of terracotta it was an outside planner it still has a dirt in it <laughs> Um, cause I would actually leave the colors cause I feel like somebody would really like it as is. So y'all let me know how I should finish this off. I feel like I should bring it back to terracotta and then white wax it. And that would look absolutely beautiful. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this swan and what painting technique you think I should do on it. I got these from the bins as well. There are these beautiful iron candlesticks and there's two of them the tops come off so i could leave it as is or it would look great to put a thick piece of wood on here a round piece of wood and make a riser so you'd have the cast iron and then the aged wood and that would be very pretty much more my style but this also looks good so give me y'all opinions on that as well just give me all y'all opinions Leave a comment below. I do try to read all of them. Look how beautiful this picture is. I got this at Goodwill for $3.99. It has like all kind of like bubbles and imperfections. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it is beautiful. It is perfect for springtime. Put you some hydrangeas or something in here. It's very heavy. It does not have a signature at the bottom, but it's heavy nice piece of pottery y'all i don't know why i keep picking these hats up but i just can't seem to help myself so i found this one with these spring colored flowers on it it has this green sash i mean i think it is beautiful as is i mean how good does that look just hanging on the wall i thought it was so pretty so i picked that up and then i forgot to show y'all this i got this at the estate sale Look how cute and floppy this one is. It's adorable. Look at it. I don't, oh shoot, messing up my hair. I don't even mind the ribbon on it. <laughs> it's so cute. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about those. <laughs> I picked this up at Goodwill. The poinsettia has to go. But look, it has beautiful fake dirt already. So I just need to find a plant that I can take this out and put a new one in, which I didn't even try taking it out. I hope I can get it out. But <laughs> um, I just look at the look of this terracotta pot. I love this so much. So pick that up. Hopefully <laughs> I can turn it into something. And this reminded me of an old ice bucket or an old ice cream bucket. And you could definitely just paint it up and update it, but it's nice, thick wood, just a great piece. And it was only $1.99 at Goodwill. This is something that is definitely not my style. I don't think I have ever purchased a clock, <laughs> but I need one for a video that's coming out, I think next week. Um, so I have to see if I can turn this clock into something that is my style, it'll definitely be a bit of a challenge, but I love a good challenge. So we will see. Stay tuned for that. Then I have a stack of picture frames because, I mean, can you ever have enough picture frames? No, you can't. I am trying to be selective though. <laughs> These are just two really nice wood frames. They actually look really great together. 
if I wanted to stack them one on top of each other. These are all at the bins, I believe. So I just, I mean, I pay next to nothing for them. So when I find a really good frame at the bins that still has the glass and everything in it, I just grab it. This actually came from Goodwill. I paid $3.99 for this. This is metal, y'all. How pretty. I don't like the picture, obviously. But, um, although it's very moody and looks good with my decor, um, I just thought the, the frame was absolutely gorgeous. It's nice and old and metal, very well built. It has the glass with it, so love this. If you find kind of like odd shaped frames, pick, the, pick them up, y'all. They are definitely in style right now. Love this. I found this one day at the Goodwill bins and then another day I went back and I found this one and I thought they were matching but now that I have them next to each other I realize they are not matching but they are still beautiful look at this gold mat love it look how thick this is the glass is like set back and the mat is in front of the glass so that's the difference the mats in the glass on this one and it's on top of the glass on this one. All right, this is the last thing. This pretty gold frame with these cute little feet. I just, I don't know. I can't pass them up when they have the feet on it. I just think it's such a pretty, adorable little touch. But I do have a lot of these, and so far I haven't used them in my house, so I probably need to stop picking them up until I actually start using them. But so cute. All right, guys, let's do the giveaway now. This is probably the strangest thing, the most unique thing, the weirdest thing <laughs> that I have thrifted. And if you follow me over on Facebook, you probably already know what I'm talking about. If you do not follow me, I will put a link in the description below. Y'all make sure y'all go like and follow my page. I post all kinds of videos. Like if you wanna see me thrifting for all this stuff, it is all over on my Facebook page. So. I posted a video of this over on Facebook and I'll put a link to that as well. We tried it out the first time with the baby and her reaction was just hilarious. But that child tests my patience enough already. I do not need a mother-in-law singing in the background. <laughs> this is the giveaway. So let me show y'all all the beautiful features. Now she is missing the plate in the back that covers the um, batteries. She has a little stand if you want to put her on the table. And she also has an on and off button, <laughs> which I did not realize. Um, okay, I'm going to play her, but just for a second, if you want to see the full video of everything that she does, I'll put a link to that. <laughs> Wait, y'all didn't see her face move. Hold on. Alright guys, so if you want this, leave a comment below and at the end of your comment put hashtag granny because that's what Ren calls her. And then I'll, because I don't want to send this to anybody <laughs> that doesn't want it. So if you do want it, put hashtag granny in the comments below. Please guys, only, um, only people in the US, I have not mastered shipping out of the country yet. So this is only for people in the US. If you want granny, put hashtag granny because it is not staying at my house. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I always have fun shopping with y'all and I love showing you everything that I purchase and what I'm going to do with it. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see how that beautiful piece that I thrifted looks in my living room makeover video that will be out later this week. Y'all have a great day and I will see y'all in the next video.